morning <laughs> i have been sleeping so bad lately it's at the end of the day and i'm tired i lie down and then i can't stop thinking about fea warehouse stuff like it's all happening so fast you know we're we're in it now like we signed the lease which is amazing really exciting we're really happy that we got accepted for the warehouse that we wanted i have been working from home for like the last three four years like ever since COVID COVID lockdowns happen. I basically just work permanently from home and so it's just really exciting to be able to have a space to work from and be able to separate home and work. But at the moment it's kind of like we're waiting for all of the documentation and paperwork to be done but like after that's done it's like go time. It's gonna happen so fucking quickly before I even know it. And so I feel like my brain at night just decides this is the best time for you to think about this. And because it's like kind of exciting, my brain goes Rrr. It won't shut down and I cannot sleep. I'm just lying there wide awake. I'm like, oh. I am just getting ready for the gym right now. Saturday, he is out at an appointment. So let's get a good workout in. This is the gym fit. I drink pre-workout because I'm very caffeine sensitive. Every time I have pre-workout, I have to be very, very careful about how much of it I have because if I have too much, then I kind of start seeing through time. Because I am sleepy, I am going to take some pre-workout. My pre-workout of choice, if I do have to take it, is from Ghost. You're gonna laugh at how much I have. Maybe a quarter of a scoop. That's what gets me. That's the good stuff. That might have been a bit too much, actually. But be careful. Very, very small amount of liquid, so I can just like take it like a shot. That pre-workout is not mine, by the way. It's Arik. It'd be a huge waste if I bought pre-workout. <laughs> Now I'm gonna roll out a little bit until that kicks in. There's an ingredient in some pre-workout called beta alanine, which is what makes you feel super tingly. I really, really don't like that feeling. So I tend to go for pre-workouts that don't have that ingredient in it. So it makes me feel so uncomfortable and it makes me feel really anxious and my heart just starts racing and it's super uncomfortable. If you feel the same way about that tingling sensation, then like look for the ingredient beta alanine and look for a pre-workout that doesn't have that. Oh God, that's painful. Questions that we get asked a lot is how we manage to balance day jobs and FEA. And that's a great question. And the answer is, I don't really know if we do balance these two things. It's really, really difficult. And it's not without a lot of burnout and stress and procrastination, because all you want to do at the end of the day is just chill and vibe, but you got shit to do. FEA needs so much more time and attention in order to be what we want it to be. And getting the warehouse is going to help us with creating more time. I know that sounds a bit funny, because how is getting a space going to create time? You'll be surprised when you do your work, your day job and your business inside of your own home and there's zero separation of personal life and work life. Your mind gets very cluttered. Your space, your environment is a very accurate representation of what your mind is and I'm not sure I understand. When you get rejected by Siri, even though you didn't ask for her advice. The point is, the warehouse is going to give us a dedicated space for the craft. And so mentally, we'll be able to focus on the work that's needed and dedicate time to that work rather than trying to share that and balance that with our day jobs and our personal work. It's a very exciting chapter. We know it's going to be hard. I'm not trying to glorify hustle culture at all, but we have to recognize that there is some level of hard work and hustle required to grow something from nothing to something that's thriving. We're prepared to invest even more time and focus on this. And this new chapter is symbolic of us stepping into the next level. I'm on the next level, yeah. All right, let's go. I'm done with the fakeness. I'm about to take this. I'm about to make this go so big, and I know I'm amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna hear this y'all complacent. I just do what I want. I just do what I wish, and I just gotta take it. Yeah, yeah. Take it, I grab it. Probably have it. It's cause of my habits. Going so hard now. Doing this stuff like just like I'm traffic. I'm in the pain dog. Fire right over. Know that I'm passing. None of you did that. I'ma just, I'ma just scratch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably laughing. Yeah, the things you say, man, I don't understand it. But. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna scramble the sandwich. All of y'all busy hating. I don't really seem to get it. I'm optimistic. I'm 
mission Yeah, I do it right now when I'm with this I just gotta go in the pro to gotta take them down when I gotta go and kill this Pew. Yeah, cause I grew up just building buildings I was laying all my bricks and I was, I was really willing Yeah, putting that work I don't care about the curse Homie, I'm going so hard Know that I will occur Grab my pen Run it down when I'm doing it first I could just kill it I could just do it, man, it hurts When you break trust Cause everything around turns into dust Cause I got the keys to open it up So we're done It only took me two hours Hi, Alec. Hello. How was your appointment? Good. What are you doing? Why do you look so soft? I'm just gonna give you a hug. Alec goes to the gym before I even wake up. Time for lunch, as always. E foods saving my ass. Let's see. This is what we have we've got mac and cheese, meatballs and mash, spaghetti meatballs, pulled beef mexi bowl, and roast beef. After a big workout, I want to have more carbs, so I'm kind of thinking... I feel like this one. Let's, let's go with this one. Yum. I was honestly very surprised that this shook up so well in the tumbler. One of our ambassadors, Jess, I saw her do that in a TikTok and I was like, I don't know why I never thought to use the tumbler as a shaker. And I can just like shove a straw in after. It's such a vibe. I love it. Anyway, that's about it for today's vlog. Thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end. I'm probably going to finish up my meal, take a shower, do some work later. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey baby, that's a reflex.